Hello everyone, it's Ayu from Japanese with Ayu. Mina san, konnichiwa, Ayu desu. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Japanese counter words. You may already know we have a lot of lots of Japanese counter words, and then you need to use the right counter words for each thing. s Apparently, there are more than 300 counter words. But don't worry, I will tell you the most common counter words today. If you know these counter words that I'm gonna tell you today, you will probably be able to say a lot of things with the right counter words. Now, let's get started. First, we have two things that you must know. And these are really, really common. And also, if you don't know what the right counter words, and you can use these two counter words. So the first one is tsu. tsu. This is how you count. Hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, yotsu, itsutsu, mutsu, nanatsu, yatsu. Kokonotsu and to. I bring this for the first one, but this is actually the irregular one. If you know how to count just a number, this is totally different because this is from a long time ago. It's like an old Japanese, original Japanese counter words. I noticed that a lot of elder people still use this counter words for pretty much everything. If you ask their age, we normally use sai for age, but elder people say hitotsu basically for kids, like little kids. They still say tsu. Hitotsu means one year old. So you can think of this is like an old style, but we still use it. And you can use this tsu for pretty much everything. So, you must know this because it's really, really useful and you can count for everything. So, if you are not sure what counter words to use, then you can use this one. It's a lot of work, but please memorize these counter words and how to count this old style. Alright, l let's move on to number two. Number two is ko. ko. So, now if you know how to count numbers, You can do easily. 1個2個3個4個5個6個7個8個9個10個This is basically for small things, small items like balls, cups, rings, apples. You can use 1個2個3個 So this one. You can also use for pretty much everything. If it's too abstract, then it's more common to use tsu, the first one. Okay? So, those two you must know, and it's really, really useful. Okay, now, number three. This is satsu. Satsu. This counter word is for mostly books. So, when you count books or magazines and comics, You can use this and isatsu, nisatsu, sansatsu, and so on. This is easy. Okay, now number four. And number four is mai. Mai. This is for flat things or thin things like paper, CDs, DVDs, shirts, clothes, pants, anything for flat. Ichi mai, ni mai. Some my, your my, like that. Now, number five. So, this one is hon. Hon. This is for like stick shaped things or long things like pencils, umbrellas, carrots, things like long or stick shaped. And this is a bit tricky because when you can't. One pencil, for example, you say ippon, pon, okay, ippon, but ni hon, san bon, okay, let's go on, yon hon, 
go hon lo pon again pon nana hon ha pon or sometimes ha te hon q hon je pon so like i said it's hon but it actually pon hon bon depends on the number before so you need to remember this so that's why it's a little bit tricky but yeah this is for something long i will tell you this additional information i can actually say for movies too you know that movies it's it's not a thing you can't see it so it's not like sticked or it's not like long thing but you can't as ippon nihon sanbon so like for example, I watched two movies today. That's how you say Ippon Nihon for movies. And this video as well. I have 40 something videos for my YouTube channel. And if you say 41, and then you say 41 Doga ga arimas. Doga, like a small movies, like videos. Doga ga arimas. Next one is number six. Dai. Dai. This is for like machines or like big appliances and larger instruments. So like pianos, microwaves, fridge, cars, computers, laptops, things like that. Ichi dai, ni dai, san dai. Yondai, and so on. And number seven, this is for animals, hiki. And this is same as hon. It's actually biki, hiki, piki. That's how you can count. And this is for like small or like medium sized animals, like cats, any insects, um, hamsters. So that's how you count. I piki. Ni hiki, san biki, yon hiki, go hiki, lo piki, nana hiki, ha piki, kyu hiki, je piki. So the method is the same, like a rule, same as hon. So you can say ippon and piki, nihon, ni hiki, san bon, san biki. Same method. So if you remember one, and then you will easily remember the other things too. Okay, so now I said this is for smaller animals. So what about larger animals? So this is number eight. And that's to. To. This kanji means actually head. So like one head, two heads. It sounds very funny, but okay. So for example, like elephants, cows, lions, camels. These things you count as ito, nito, santo. Alright? Okay, now number nine. This is wa, wa. So this kanji means feather. Okay, so animals feather and also the, the wings. So this one, can you imagine? This counter word for birds. So when you count any birds, you, you count as ichi wa, ni wa, san wa, yon wa, like that. Okay, and actually there is exceptional and it's really weird. That is the animal rabbit. It's common mistakes that people count as ipiki, ni hiki, because it's small. This is only the exception. It's wa, ichi wa. Niwa Sama. And why do you think? And um, actually there is a interesting story behind. So in Japan, when it was Edo period, there was a time people are not allowed to eat meat. But people wanted to eat meat. So they started saying, Oh, rabbits, they walk with two feet and it looks like a bird. So they started counting as a bird. They kind of made an excuse to eat bird, which is rabbit. So they wanted to eat meat. That's the story behind this. So we still count rabbit as 
1話2話3話 It's interesting, isn't it? And number 10 This is how you count for people And do you remember the first one? The old Japanese counter words We use the counter method for this too So it actually nin So when we count one person that's hitori And then two people futari And after that you can just add nin after the number San nin, yo nin, go nin Alright Next Number 11 So this is kai And this is about the floor So like the, you know, like For example, three stories house You say ikkai, the first floor The second floor is nikai, sankai Yonkai, gokai, rokai Okay, so that's the building That's the building stories I mean, floors So you need to memorize this kanji Because number 12, this is same pronunciation but different kanji. Kai. So this is about counting times. How many times? Okay. So how many times have you been to Japan? How many times did you eat a、um, meal today? So that's how you say. Ikkai, nikai, sankai. This kanji. So, I've been to Japan three times, for example, then you say, Sankai Nihon ni ikimashita. Sankai Nihon ni ikimashita. Okay? Okay, so the last one, number 13, this is Hai or Bai Pai. This is how you count anything like bowl of rice or the glass of beer or anything like drinks or Soup. So in the portion, like glass of something, cups of something, or like bowls of something. Okay, so for example, beer, ippai, nihai, sanbai, yonhai, gohai. Okay, so this is the same method for hon and hiki as well. And so this is very important if you want to say. The first one, the second, the third, then you can just add me at the end of the counter words. So, for example, how many beer did you, did you drink today? This is the fourth one. This is the fourth beer for today. Then you say, Yong Hai Me. Yong Hai Me. Okay? So that's how you count the first one, the second one. So, ippai me, nihai me, sanbai me, yonhai me. Okay, so this is used for any counter words. So, if you say, okay, let's say we, you have five cats. And then you say, okay, this is the first cat, this is the second cat. And then you say, ippiki me, nihiki me, sanbiki me. When you say, Uh, the first time I went to Japan was this. The second time I went to Japan was this. So then you say, Ikkai me, nikai me, sankai me. Okay? So, I have a quiz for you today. I'll give you this picture. And now you can count things and use the right counter words for each thing. s And then write the comment. And say, make a sentence like, for example, Neko ga san biki imas. Okay, so the cats. There are three cats. Neko ga san biki imas. Okay, so in this picture, there are a lot of things. So you can count things and then use the right counter words, then make a sentence, and then write in this comment. I will check your Japanese sentences and if you have any mistakes, I will collect your Japanese sentences. Okay? That's your homework today. And yeah, I think this is my 46th video. I think, maybe. No, 47. This is my 47th, 7th video. So I can say, 47 homme. This. 
So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you want to take my lessons, please go to the website below and book my lesson from there. You can get $10 discount on the second lesson. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you want me to, to uh, make a video about, you can also leave a comment here. Bye for now!